Thomas and friends, making tracks to great destinations. Dear Christopher, here is your friend Thomas the Tank Engine. He wanted to come out of his station yard and see the world. These stories tell you how he did it. I hope you will like them because you helped me to make them. Your loving daddy. The island of Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams, and lots of trees where the birds sing. There are windmills and a coal mine, and docks where visitors to the island arrive. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that puffing down the track? It's Thomas! Hello, Thomas! Hello, everybody! Welcome to the island of Sodor. Here are some dots. If we join the dots, we will see one of the engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. I wonder which engine it is. Let's join the dots and find out. Here we go. Around the tender and the cab. There's the dome and a very tall funnel. Can you tell who it is yet? Around the buffers and the wheels they are very big wheels. There's only one engine on Sodor with wheels that big. Do you know who it is? Yes, it's Emily. Hello, Emily.
The island of Sodor is a wonderful place. There are lots and lots of engines. Who's that puffing along the track? It's Thomas. Thomas is a bright blue tank engine with red stripes. He has six small wheels, a short funnel and dome. And the number one painted in yellow on his tanks. Thomas is always busy and is especially happy when he's with his carriages, Annie and Clarabel. Thomas knows everyone on the island of Sodor, but he does have one special friend, and that's Percy. One day, Sir Topham Hatt told all the engines that the railway inspector was coming. He would give a special prize to the best turned out engine. Gordon, James, and Emily were all sure a big engine would win the prize, but Thomas and his best friend Percy hoped they might win. The big engines laughed at them. Thomas and Percy had to work at the quarry. By the end of the day, Percy and Thomas were very, very dirty. Percy was sure they would never win the first prize now. Thomas wanted to cheer his friend up, so they raced to the washdown. But when they arrived, Gordon, James, and Emily all looked like the smartest engines on the railway. Now Thomas was worried, but his friend Percy cheered him up. When Thomas and Percy arrived at the coaling plant, they were surprised. James biffed into a freight car. Now all the big engines, Sir Topham Hatt and the inspector were covered in coal dust. But not Thomas and Percy. They won first prize and each had a ribbon. Thomas knew he couldn't have done it without his friend Percy. Sometimes you need to rely on your friends. One day, Thomas was picking up telephone engineers. They were to mend the telephone poles. A great storm had blown them down. Then Thomas saw something wonderful. Edward told him about an old story. It said that there was something magical at the end of a rainbow. Thomas huffed and puffed all over the island. He was looking for the end of the rainbow. Thomas was so busy, he didn't have time to say hello to his friends. And he didn't have time to help his friend. Then there was trouble. Thomas hadn't seen the telegraph pole. Thomas was stuck. He thought none of his friends would help him. But Thomas was wrong. All Thomas's friends passed on the news that he was in trouble. In no time, Harvey arrived to pull Annie and Clarabel back onto the rails. Now Thomas didn't want to look for the end of the rainbow anymore. He wanted to be really useful. Later, Thomas puffed back to Tidmouth Sheds. There was the end of the rainbow, and there were all his friends. Thomas's friends are very important. They make Sir Topham Hatt's railway very special, and they make Thomas feel he is the luckiest steam engine ever. Sir Topham Hatt has sent Percy and Thomas to collect some freight cars. How many freight cars are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six freight cars. How many freight cars should Thomas and Percy each pull? Thomas takes five freight cars. That only leaves one freight car for Percy. Percy wants to take the same number of freight cars as Thomas. 
How many freight cars should Percy take? Percy takes four freight cars. Now Thomas only has two freight cars. They still haven't got the same number of freight cars. How many freight cars should they each take? Thomas takes three freight cars. How many does Percy have? One, two, three freight cars. The same number as Thomas. They have three freight cars each. Well done, Percy and Thomas. It was soon time for the county fair and engine parade to begin. Madge sparkled and shone as she proudly pulled the brass band. You both look wonderful, called Madge. But she still wasn't sure if they had both watched behind their buffers. Thank you. 